Hello guys and welcome to TechWolf. Today I'm going to show you how to fix that you can't change your screen or you can't change your display resolution. And this might happen in two scenarios. One scenario is that if you are using only one screen, for example your laptop screen or your PC screen and you have only one connection. And another scenario is if you are using some device, if you have two screens or for example if you have even three screens by using some docking station or directly connected to your PC or directly connected to your laptop guys. So let's talk about how you can resolve it and what I'm talking about is if you go to your desktop, if you right click on your screen and you click into display settings you are getting redirected to this page guys and if you scroll here down here you will see this display resolution and if you can change it if it's graded out in 90% of cases this setting is set to smaller resolution and your icons of your screen or your screen could be enlarged so first thing how you can fix it in 80% of cases when I had this problem is if I'm using some external screens which are added to docking station this could be the problem if your docking station display port or HDMI port stopped working properly or for example you have a bad connection of wire. First thing in 80% of cases like I mentioned already guys check your docking station if you are using more than one screen. If that is not your native screen for example on your laptop make sure that you check the wire connection. And second thing in most scenarios if you can change your display resolution this could be caused by your drivers. And you need to update your driver and to update your driver right click on your start icon go to device manager and once this screen opens up here you will see display adapters just click into this and here you will see all your graphics cards you need to update your graphics card driver in my scenario as you can see I have NVIDIA GeForce JTX 1650 Ti graphics card and to update your driver I believe that you know how to do it you right click here and click on update driver and here you can search automatically for drivers and update from your windows or you can browse computer for drivers and update your driver and third thing what you can do is search for updates of your computer Computer. In some scenarios your computer might not be updated. To do this click on your start icon and in search you type in updates. Here you will see first tab check for updates just click into it. I know that in my computer I have these two updates. I will do this and update my computer myself. If you will also have here updates which need to be updated to your computer also do that guys. And fourth thing what you can do is, is simply restart your computer not shut down it but restart because when you are restarting your PC you are restarting all software and all programs which are on that computer rather than shutting down. If you are shutting down you are shutting down just the current state of your PC. That's why in some scenarios all programs are not being restarted fully that's why you need to restart not shut down but click on restart and restart your pc and that could also solve your problem so yes guys hope that you found this video useful if you did leave a like share this video subscribe to the channel if you are new and see you in the next one